Well, I think uh, one of the places it started was um, the French military, you know, working, training their soldiers in the winter. They were riding bikes and then they just started to run through the fields. And also um, early road cyclists in, in Europe, in France, in Belgium, in Switzerland, they were ro road pros and they were riding in the winter and they wanted to start staying warmer. So maybe they run through the field and keep their feet warm. And so it just became a sport called field riding, which is the Dutch translation, Veldrijden. And they just began the sport that way back in 1900 or so. And then it just moved forward to um, the first world championship was 1950. I think France, Belgium, all those countries, the Dutch were very strong in the early years. Um, of course, the, the big superstars in the back in the day, Libaton and Zweifel and Frischnecht, the father Frischnecht, um, uh, Swiss, the, the great Swiss riders of that era. And then gradually, well, it, it was still big in Switzerland up through the 90s. And then gradually it shifted to Belgium, where it's now the epicenter. But um, in America, it started the, the first... I think the first national championship was 1975 and um, that were, those were the Lawrence Malone years in the early beginning and some American guys were coming over here and learning from the experts and the pros here. Um, Lawrence Malone was one of them. They called him the flying kangaroo because he could jump. Even back then he could jump. And also it's worth noting that the first women's national championship in the U.S. was in the 70s also. So women's cyclocross has always been popular in America. And now it's growing, growing, growing. We have 60 or 70 UCI races in the U.S., which is the most of any country. And uh, the sport is, it's, it's not like football or basketball yet, but it's, it's, it's one of the fastest growing cycling disciplines.